A reading from the book of Mark. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Well, here in this verse, we see Christ with his disciples and his relatives, his actual biological relatives arrive looking for him. And he makes clear to the crowd that his biological relatives are not his only relatives. And that's something that um, I think we live out each and every week as we interact with our brothers and sisters through our church services or through any ministries that we carry out through the week. We have our biological families and then we also have our spiritual families. And sometimes it just warms my heart to see the many relationships that people have developed through coming to worship together week after week. We have our families. If you walk through the church, whether it's through the sanctuary itself or through the great hall or anywhere throughout the building before or after a service, you will see people who are engaged in activity that looks pleasurable. They are smiling, they are talking, they are catching up for the week. And it is amazing to see the kinds of connections that we have created in Christ. And these, these relationships are every bit as important to us as any of the other relationships in our life and oftentimes even more important because they are created in Christ. And so there are so many benefits from following Christ. One of them being being welcomed into a broader family than the one that we grew up in. So many people grew up in families where they have either sad memories or bitter memories and have some have consciously decided to no longer participate in those families. But in Christ, we find a new family, a family that has the same focus and the same desires as we do, and that is to follow Christ, to do his will, and to find others who also will be welcomed into such a family. And so we look forward each week to gathering together, to hearing the word, to sharing the bread and the wine together as a family. We often go off and work together as a family, doing good works within our community. Let us continue to be the family together that Christ has called us to be. Amen.